What happens when you are in a coma? You have often heard the word coma, whether in real life or films, but what exactly is coma? And what happens when you are in a coma? Let's have a brief look at that. Coma is a Greek word that means deep sleep. Coma is the state of prolonged unconsciousness in which people are not aware of their surroundings. Individuals who are in a coma do not respond to any stimuli. They do not communicate either in verbal or gesture form. Even if you pierce them with a needle or pinch them, no resistance is shown by them. This state can be temporary or permanent. People may get reversed from a coma or there is no comeback, making it clear if a diabetic patient is in a coma, he or she can quickly reverse back from that stage when their blood sugar levels are in control. On the other hand, continuous seizures results in prolonged unconsciousness and irreversible coma. A person during a coma is alive and sometimes breathing on their own. On the other hand, depending on the condition, a ventilator is used to keep them breathing and thus alive. Comatose patients do communicate in some cases. Well, this communication is different from normal ones. Brain scans show blood circulation and other responses when some questions were asked to them in the form of a yes or no. There are many reasons behind coma-like states. Accidents are more often the cause. Similarly, other causes are stroke, head injury, tumors in the brain, alcohol intoxication, and diabetes. A lack of oxygen is also a significant cause of coma. Here, we will give you an idea of how people feel when they are in a coma and after waking up from that state. A 14-year-old patient narrated that he was able to hear conversations going on around him. He said that he was able to point direct conversations about him but could not respond to them. The most reported thing about coma is the feeling of being in a dream. The boy said that he used to have dreams about food and playing with his friends. Mostly, in the end, he used to sit alone in the ground like everyone had left him alone. After that period, he experienced weakness, hunger, not able to recognize anyone except his mother. It took him around two weeks to memorize his past and family. According to another patient, it was like nothing. She did not have any dreams or sensations at all. Some termed this experience as hell and painful. A few individuals thought they were stuck or dead. In short, we may say that everyone has gone through a different perspective of deep sleep. Neurological responses that are involuntary, and we also perform them in unconsciousness, are also diminished in them as they do not move away from the threat. The reason is that they do not detect any danger. In other words, we can say that coma does not reflect the example of one-size-fits-all. Treatment of coma depends on the type of coma and also the cause behind it. When we monitor the reason behind a coma, there are more chances for early recovery and a short duration of coma. With the help of medical attention, doctors can recover the coma resulting from drug poisoning immediately. Comas resulting from a lack of oxygen are more challenging to treat than the ones caused due to head injury. To recover from a coma, a patient requires intensive care and a full life support system. It is rare, but people can completely recover from coma. However, they still need both physical and mental assistance to restore their normal functioning. We hope that you are learning something new every day from our videos. If you'd like to know about a specific topic, inbox us, email us, or comment down below. 